Hey, it's Chris Duncan here. On this video, I demonstrate the super conscious recode process. This is our five step process to tuning into what you want to create, removing what's in the way, and then taking action to bring it into reality. This was filmed at the Magnetic Mind event. I bring out three people and we have an amazing experience. You'll watch me do the full session and the recode with these uh, amazing three people. The breakthroughs are huge. You'll see it, you'll watch it. Now, before we jump right into that session, I'd actually done about an hour and a half of education and training so that everyone was ready to do the session. There's about 500 people watching, and um, that's out of our, um, our group, our full year-long training. There's about 500 others, and they're about to go through the session. Before I took them through it, I brought out a few people, and I, and I did the recode, and, and they've given me permission to share this. So if you'd like to know, you know what a recode is, uh, how we connect to someone's field, you do need to be in the trainings. But if you just want to have a look and kind of have a peek to, to see maybe what it is that we're doing, check this out. It's uh, It was very fun, and uh, you, you'll see me. Uh, tune into their field. You, you might see me connecting to different aspects of them, and then I'll share some commands and I'll move between the three people. Uh, it was an incredible shift, and uh, some of the responses that they've shared with me since that training have been absolutely amazing. So sit back, enjoy. There is nothing you can buy from this, but if you want to get more information, there are links below this video. Bye. Uh, there they are. Awesome. Are you able to turn on your video? Maria, there she is. Have we met before, Maria? Uh, no, no. Oh, nice. Oh. Whereabouts are you from? Um, Wanganui, New Zealand, North Island. Yeah, no, I know, I know New Zealand. I, yeah. know you. <laughs> I think for those who don't. <laughs> nice. So you're from Wanganui, hey? We've got yeah. a few people. Like it was Rick was from, you know, Taranaki region as well. So, mm -hmm. so Mick, are you able to turn your video and stuff on, Mick? There we go. Ask to unmute. Cool. Good to have you on. You're good to go. And um, so we did have Kimmy who was going to go, but I didn't see her hand come up after all the pre-frames. So we'll go with you three. And uh, and that sounds that sounds good. We will be doing the big group one as well. So uh, how are you guys, Mick? Uh, have we met before? Uh, no, I don't think so, Chris. But I'm well. I'm sitting here in beautiful Byron Bay. Just down the road. Just down the road. Nice, man. Well, good. And have you done a recode before? Yep. I've been in the the uh, the masterclass for, I think, since April. And I've just oh, cool. joined up to do the certification. Oh, good. Good choice. Very good choice. Good stuff. Uh, cool. All right. Cool. That's going to be good. Maria, uh, have you done recode before? Uh, yes. Yes, yeah, I've done a couple. Yes. All right, good. All right, well, we've got experienced recoders here, so that's fantastic. All right, so for those of you who haven't done a recode before, I'll take these three through so you can watch it, uh, and then we'll do one as a group as well, and I'll just be working uh, with, with the three of you for, for whatever you want to create. So uh, we'll start with you, uh, Maria. What what create? What would you like to create? So what is a creation? What would you choose to, to create that we can work on today? I think a really key thing for me at the moment is a better work environment. Okay, good. So we'll talk about this a bit more tomorrow. So what would, uh, this is actually a process to get you somewhere. So what would a better work environment give you? Like what, what would happen there? Um, less stress. <laughs> yeah, which is in a way from, so, so what do you really mm. want? Um, I'd like to be able to go to work to do my job and uh, have really good work colleagues that can work together and for people to be happy and, um, yeah, kind, kind. So all of this is in reaction. I love you, but it's all, it's all mm. um, reaction. It's all reaction. Uh, mm. So can you see and can everyone notice uh, that... Mm. All of this is based on a uh, reality that, she, well, your videos, your... your um... Yeah, I noticed it's not very good. Sorry about that. That was fine earlier and it was fine yesterday. It's weird, isn't it? I've never yeah. seen a video do that before. Oh, We're not running know. energy or anything. <laughs> um, oh, let's, let's see if you can get that organized. I don't know if there's something you can do, but, but before mm. we do... Really consider it, we must have an end result that we're choosing. So we must be able to say this is this is it. 
this is what I choose. So, uh, um, which is which is really really good. All right. Is there another camera you have on there? No. There we go. It's better now. Yeah, it comes and goes. I don't know if it's actually the internet or. I don't think so. So, um, mm. all right. Well, you you've chosen now, so it's fine. So, um, so so what? Uh, so what is the end result? What are you really wanting to choose? What would you like to create? Positive work environment. A positive work environment. So you want to feel good going to work. Mm. So, so, so some of the things about when we, when we, what we're wanting to create is that it's completely controlled with you. So if we go positive work environment, what I'm getting, and I'm, I'm just going to keep on pressing, yeah. is that because, I, because, because if you can't control it, you can't create it. So if there's others who are choosing because they are co-creators, yeah. uh, it, is it, you know, if they choose that they want to be negative, you can't change that. So it's like, so what are you choosing? So I, I'm going to say it's like to, to, love, to love going to work or to be to, to choose loving work or, or, or what is a choice that is 100% controlled by you? Yeah, to love going to work. Mm. Okay, good. Choose the end result of loving work. So we'll talk about this more tomorrow, everyone. It's really, um, really <clears throat> important that we don't try to create for other people because they're allowed to be negative. That's their, that's their situation. They're allowed to do what they want to do, but also that we're not just making a creation um, out of a reactionary thing. But I think a good choice is say, I choose to, you know, love my work. That's uh, and you can control that. All right, good. So um, we'll go around everyone else. Mick, what's uh, what choice would you like to work on? Um, I'd like to choose uh, living a life that I love. Okay, cool. It's a safe one because uh, I can't uh, can't challenge that one because it's one of the core four. <laughs> but it's a really good choice, isn't it? Okay. Nice and Bria, you're just on mute, so you just have to hit unmute. What would uh, what okay. would you? Uh, there you are. Uh, can you guys hear me? Okay. Yeah. Good. Um, I would like to choose having more money than I can spend. <laughs> more. Are you good at spending it? Is this a big number? I am. <laughs> I can be. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Uh, so, so the first thing we're going to do is we'll, we're going to choose that for all of you. We'll step into that reality and, uh, and, and live it and live it. So what this does is, is connects us with that result so that we become it. We teach our unconscious how that's going to be. So the three of you, if, if you wouldn't mind, you ready uh, to close your eyes and <clears throat> become one with these end results. So in your mind, go ahead and choose it. So choose the end result of loving going to work and absolutely having a great day, Maria, just really loving it. Choose how that feels. Choose to feel that empowered feeling of just loving it and notice what comes to you. Choose living your life you love, Mick, and just how that is. And choose uh, to have more money than you can spend, Bria, and the feeling with that. And as you choose this, step into it in your mind and envision it uh, like it's true. Like it's true. That's it. Feel it. That's it. Notice it and accept it. How good does it feel to have that now? That's it. So that's our choice. We choose that. We choose that. Mm. perfect and when you really open your eyes and come back so so that's the first step is is we choose and so everyone when we do the recode with you in a second we first tell the unconscious where we're going and then and then as we as we choose that uh hey kimmy i see you typing in to say that you're here now and and that's great 
so we're, everyone's going to be on. But um, unfortunately, you just missed out when I was asking the pre-frames. Okay, so no stress. We're going to do a full recode. Love you. It's all good. Um, I see your messages though. Uh, so it was just important to me. I did the re the 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 set frames of who uh, making sure that people are ready to be on. Okay, so it's all good. I think that you had some internet challenges. So uh, so we choose that. Okay, so now. Um, it's to go back to where we are now compared to that, okay? You don't have to tell us because really it's up, it's your own thing. So, so just consider uh, compared, compared to that, um, where, where, where is it now? You know, so that's what I'm cre creating and, and, and here's where I am now. And just, just notice, just notice. That's it. So where am I now compared to it? And just accept that in your unconscious. You can do it eyes closed, eyes open. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Just that. That's what I choose. Here I am now. And that's it. So so that's it. And what that does is sets up the structure uh, in your in your mind uh, of that's where I want to go. And here I am now. And the unconscious wants to move along the path of least resistance. So that's now set up in your mind. So, so Maria, when we consider um, what's in the way of having that now, uh, what is it that stops you having that? How do you stop yourself having that? Um, I just worry about going to work before I even get there. Yep. <clears throat> yep, so worry. So I worry. Mm. And why do you worry? Um, so it won't be accepted that I'm not good enough. Thank you. And so what feelings were present uh, when you had it versus the, the feelings that are present now? Like, so, so what's the difference? Okay, so that? the end result would be just real joy, that uh, a real confidence, um yeah bringing a joy to the whole department really yeah i nice. see so you enjoy it and now it feels feels different or uh yeah, yeah, yeah. now it feels really negative <laughs> it's all right and, and good good for you <clears throat> okay yeah Cool. Okay, got it. So out of 10, how much resistance do you think uh, you have towards uh, having the end result? Um, yeah, mm. 10. Pardon? 10. <laughs> okay. So 10 out, of, 10 out of 10 to me is always like, you know, the river's like peanut butter. It's like yeah. really like not moving. And like 0 out of 10, it, you know, it's like, it's just rapids, you know, mm. which is cool. All right, good. Awesome. Thank you, Maria. All right, we've got you set up and ready. I'll just go around everyone else. We'll do we'll do the recode together as a as a threesome. Uh, so so Mick, uh, so you got uh, living the life you love, and then you're wherever you are now. So what's uh, stopping you having that now? Um, there's a belief there that I'm not allowed to have it, Chris. Got it. It's got just, it. just a little little background belief there. Yeah. What would happen if you were allowed? If I was allowed to have it, um, ooh, there'd, be a, a, there'd be a huge amount of freedom, actually. What would you have to give up that you value that if you gave it up, you would be allowed? Being comfortable, Chris. I have to give up being comfortable. Seems like a hard situation. I've got to give up being comfortable in order to have a life I live, you know? So I'd say there's a belief that I can't be comfortable and have a life I love at the same time. Got it. What emotions are present in the current that aren't present in the future? Uh, fear. So the feeling, the feeling of fear, the feeling, yeah, just a little bit of restriction. Yeah. 
Is your family allowed to live a life they love, your family experience, or was it about, you know, just, just, yeah, yeah, okay. Family. There's a family pattern, hey? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that creates tightness in your throat. It's hard to even talk about. Yeah. Right. Cool. All right. Good stuff, bro. Uh, Bria. So, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, Mick, out of 10, how much resistance do you feel? <laughs> I kind of skipped that. Uh, about five, 10. Chris. Yeah, five, five out of 10. Cool. Thanks, Mick. Uh, okay, Bria. Uh, have more money than you can spend. So compared to that, uh, here you are. That's what you want to create. And uh, and that's really great. So what is it that stops you creating that? Um, a huge feeling that I'm not supposed to, that I'm going to get in trouble if this happens. It's naughty. Yeah. Who unconsciously... Who tells you off if you have way more money than you can spend? My mother. I know. And grandma. Yeah. Nice. Okay, cool. Feminine patterns. Feminine patterns of information. Yeah. Six years old, Bria. Six <laughs> years old. What happened? Yeah. There? How it's supposed to be. You're not supposed to have. Oh, you already told me not supposed to. Yeah. Not supposed to. It's not, it's not the way it is. Uh, yeah. Anything else that's different between the now and then? Um, just, just a huge feeling of, of restriction of, yeah. If, if I take one more step. Yeah. Yeah. Being restricted is safe. All right. Good. Beautiful. Love you guys. Okay. Out of 10, how much resistance do you have to having way more than money than you can spend? I'm a good nine. Oh, nine. Not enough. <laughs> I'm just teasing. All right. Good stuff. So we'll choose to have, we'll choose to have a great recode. Okay. Um, I'll work with uh, all of you at times and I'll also individually uh, work with... Uh, with some of you at times as well. And so so that's going to be fun. So so just choose to get the most out of it. And whenever you're ready, just, just close your eyes. That's it. Choose to connect to your heart field. Yeah. And just and just set the intent. Uh, set the intent to have a great recode and that uh, you give me permission to connect to your field, to increase satisfaction in life and decrease resistance. Huh. And audience, I'll use muscle testing uh, to connect with their field. And I'll refer to the whole field structure and each of them individually as super conscious. Super conscious, are you there? Yeah, yep, yeah, got it. Cool. Do you understand the treatment process? Yeah. Super conscious, do you see the end results that we're creating? <laughs> Please create the perfect treatment plan. Super conscious, go to the original event that created this pattern of information causing all their resistance. Please go back, way, way back, 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 back in time all the way back to the first moment of this pattern. All the way back. 
all the way back for Maria. It started, uh, it started with with primary school. Go all the way back, wanting to enjoy that, but I can't go all the way back for Mick. Go back, back. It's generational. So Mick, all the way back. Both both sides actually. You're not allowed to have it. You're not allowed to love your life. There's a restriction. Go all the way back and just continue to go back all the way back until that pattern is no longer able to be accessed. Superconscious, please treat and do a massive change history from this moment as needed. Thank you. Here we go. Silence. Mm. And as you come forward, find that moment and replace it. Replace the decision with a more powerful decision. Maria, replace it with, I've always had more money than I can spend. Mick, replace the decision with, I've always had a life I love. Maria, replace it with, I've always had the ability to love my work, love my school. Please install that belief structure and plant it like a seed in the unified field and allow it to grow up and grow older through time and space. Maria, I'd like to connect with the inner child, a part-time personality that's been running a show. Connect with this aspect of you and grow yourself younger all the way back, all the way back. I want you to grow yourself all the way back to the moment when the first <laughs> contract was created. Connect with this aspect of you inside the inner child and, and ask for the contract that was created around loving school and loving work and ask for the original contract. Let this aspect of you know that it's time for a promotion. It's been diligently running uh, the pattern that uh, uh, I, I don't fit in. I don't, uh, I won't be accepted. I'm not good enough. And it's been running that pattern very successfully. And it's time for a promotion. And just ask this aspect of you if it would like a promotion. By the way, inner childs love promotions. <laughs> they love promotions. Please gently and easily, Maria, let this aspect of you just know how old you are right now. Gently and easily, just flood it with a few images of life and, and let it know that you're actually no longer that small child that needed to run that pattern. That's it. Superconscious, please treat any grief, resistance, and pain associated with this realization and do a massive change history as needed. Thank you. Mick, when you're ready, there's a uh, metaphor of a warrior that's that's there that is unable to just love life and put down the sword, the spear, the ax, the gun, whatever that is. And so I'd like you to give it a revision and let them let this aspect of you know that there is no fight anymore. There is no fight. So go all the way back and I want you to flood it with images of a life without fight. A life without fight. And I want you to let this part know that you can put the sword away. You can always go and grab it again. But you can't have both a sword and relaxed life at the same time. So go all the way back to the moment. Thank it for its service. And please treat its pattern of information holding on to that. 
do a full change history, everything is needed. Maria, there's a pattern of information, age 16. Please treat that to a massive change history as needed and just smooth that bump over. Thank you. Maria, please treat all the chakras front and back and take a big breath in knowing that there's always been more than enough. You always have come from more than enough and there always will be more than enough. That's it. So, so Mick, I want you to surround that warrior who's putting down his sword with all the family and tribe and everyone that he's supported. And just see that he did his job. Smiling, happy children, smiling, happy people. They're all happy. And just let him know that he can go put that sword in the shed. He can put a lock on it. And he can, or he's got the key. It's like when, you know, like a, a, a child learns ABCs and then they go on to learn a different language. They can always go back and speak their first language if they ever need it. It's always there. That's it. Please, please treat the lower chakras, Mick, and just allow that, that to be, do, do a full change history as needed. Thank you. That's it, bro. Please replace it with, I'm allowed, I'm allowed to love my life. I've done my duty. And if called upon, I'll be there. Hmm. Maria, I want to treat some family patterns, mainly associated with your father. Superconscious, how is that causing resistance? Huh. Huh. Maria, there's an aspect of you, it says, I don't want to enjoy my work because then that's all I'll become. I don't want to, I don't want to enjoy my work because I won't, then I won't engage in anything else. And that's painful. Okay. This aspect of you needs treatment, please. It needs treatment because it's, it's out of perspective. You, you can love, you can love something and, uh, and then also put it down, you know, like I love popcorn but I don't spend my life just being addicted to popcorn. Super conscious, please treat to a massive change history. Thank you. That's it. Please treat the pain of someone else choosing an activity over spending time with you. Nice big belly breaths for you. Bria, I want you to code up a future reality that you have more than enough. You have more than enough and just notice how it is. Okay. I want you to notice how you relate to that picture when it comes to trusting 
that version of you to make smart choices. Yeah. Trust. Superconscious, where did the pattern of I don't trust myself with abundance show up? Having too much of a good thing is bad. Where did that show up? I don't trust myself. I will change. Superconscious, do you know where that pattern came from? No, it's actually not your pattern, Bria. It's actually not your pattern. Superconscious, did this pattern originate uh, from mother or father? Both, mainly mother. So her pattern, no, yeah, mostly. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why, but it's like, this is a pattern from actually your auntie. You have an aunt who has this pattern, actually. Superconscious, can you please treat all the family patterns for Bria when it comes to having more than enough and being trusted to make good decisions? No. No. Why not? Superconscious, what's there? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Please treat the fear of making mistakes and I don't trust myself to bounce back. Yep. So, so there's a decision point. I fear making mistakes. I don't trust myself bouncing back. Therefore, I'm just not going to have a lot and I'm always going to make sure I don't. It's a fear of failure. It's a fear and an untrusting of, of yourself. Superconscious, can you work with that pattern to create more freedom and satisfaction with Fabria? Yes. Please work with that. Do a massive change history as needed. Thank you. Nice. Good. Everything's becoming more easy and more free. Mick, we're going to do the sentence procedure and then, um, and then I'll let you just take your time. So the sentence procedure. Superconscious, please tag and treat all resistance that pop into the active experience with this procedure. So, Mick, I choose to have a life I love. Please tag and treat and do a massive change history. I can breathe into that. I can have a life I love. Please tag and treat as needed. I'm allowed. I'm allowed. Please tag and treat across all family patterns. I'm allowed to have a life I love. I will have a life I love. Hmm. I will do whatever it takes have a life I love. What I get is that this isn't just for you. It's a, there's a full family pattern. You get to be the linchpin that changes the course of where families go, which is quite exciting. So you're not just choosing it for you. And so so let that be them. Let that be true. Ground all the memories, Mick, and just take your time as long as you like. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. We're going to have a conversation. Good stuff. How are you going, Maria? Look at that smile, Mick. <laughs> Are you ready to? Here we go. Nice. All right. Who would like to share first? How they're going? Yeah. I've gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nick, you're beaming. You go first, brother. How how are you? How was that? Uh, that was really amazing, Chris. Um, just 
getting the 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 permission to put this to put the fight away was yeah. the biggest sense of relief that I don't have to do that anymore. Um, it brought tears of relief for me. Um, that was that that was really incredible, and um, you're spot on. I really get the the family structures that are, that have been there for a long time but on both sides. Um, I, I, I really get that, and you know I'm really grateful for that whole experience. Um, I feel extremely empowered um, and my whole crown opened up during that. Mm. I just felt a buzz and a complete buzz in my hands and, um, wow, really powerful. Like, so grateful. <laughs> that was amazing. Thank you so much. Thanks, brother. Appreciate you. Uh, well, you're both bursting. Maria, how is that? <laughs> oh, it's just amazing, really. <laughs> yeah. I think I just felt from my whole being just like I was going to explode, really. Um, Good. Good explosion, I hope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just that relief. And I think, you know, like what came to me was that it's not just about having joy and being happy to go to work, but living, you know, living a great life. Um, there's so much more than just work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And and isn't that good to say? Yeah, yeah, it just feels very releasing. Yeah, very. and it's like it's it's okay to have that, you know. Yeah, it is okay. But I felt like everything you said was just like, whoa, wow, spot on. Um, oh. Pretty impacting for me. Well done. So thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Maria and her skin suit, how was that? Very. Um, when, as soon as you brought up the generational, um, I got this slide that felt like I was on the river of desire, just rapids, 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 and then it just smoothed out, smooth sailing, which is my shoulders and my right eyebrow. <laughs> so... It's very nice. I feel so much lighter. <laughs> well done to all of you. So now last step is to choose an action and alignment with this energy. So you want to ground it into your being. And so you don't have to tell us, but what is one thing that you're going to do to be in this way now? So, you know, to, to be, to be this version of you, to be loving, you know, loving work, loving life, having more money than you can spend doesn't, you know, just one thing that proves to you that you are this way now. So we always want to make sure that we, <laughs> what is it, Maria? <laughs> <I'm> just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, a lot. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. Oh, all right, good. I'll leave you, you guys to figure that part out. But it is very important. Uh, all aspects of you are listening all the time. So you must, you must then bring it into action. So have a great rest of the event. And thanks for, thanks for the pleasure of um, being, being really, really, really great demos. So I'll pop you all back. And Thank you, so much. Uh, you are welcome. <laughs>